and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Prime Math Zoom. Today, we will be focusing on renaming ones to tens. So let's dive right in. What is renaming? Hmm, let's think about it a little. What could renaming mean? Okay, it sounds like we're giving something another name, right? Okay, let's see what this means in math. This is a process of breaking down large numbers into different place values or replacing smaller units with a larger equivalent. For example, 10 $1 coins can be changed to one $10 and one $10 can be changed into 10 $1 coins. How can tens and ones be represented? So using base 10 blocks, we can say that this little square right here represents ones. Now this longer unit, we call it a longs or we call that tens. This here has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It has ten ones in it. So here it is saying that ten times one gives us ten, which is this ten manipulative or lungs. So we call this unit, we call this lungs. Now, all the way over to here, you can see where if we have one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten of these tens pieces and that gave us the hundreds. We call it flats or we call it hundreds. So here it is saying that ten of these will be one of that. Now if we know that ten of these give us one of this, and 10 of these give us one of this. Can you now make a guess as to how many of this we can get from this? Yes, how many ones can we get from the hundreds? We can get 100 ones from the hundreds. If we have 15 ones, how can we rename the tens and ones? So remember that. 10 of these little ones give us one tens. So let's see what we can do here. Right, so here we counted off one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We counted off 10 out of the 15 ones. And here we got one tens. And let's see how many ones. One, two, three, four, five. So we got one group of 10 and five ones. Now let's think about it like this. William has been saving $1 coins to buy a toy for $45. What is the maximum number of $10 coins could it be changed into? How many $1 coins will remain? So here, William has $45. And based on what we would have been doing so far, we know that $10, $1 will give us a $10. So that means these set of $10, $1, these set of $10, $1 can give us one $10. And then another set of $1 coins, 10 $1 coins, will give us another $10. Then this third set will give us a third $10. The fourth set give us a fourth $10. But here we have one, two, three, four, five. Is this more than or less than 10? Yes, five is less than 10. And five being less than 10, means that we cannot get another $10. So here it asks, how many $1 coin will remain? 
and we have five one dollar coin remaining let's look at another example carly is packaging straws in bundles of 10. he got 97 straws how many bundles will he get and how many how many will remain so here i went ahead and i just put them in bundles of 10 already so i counted off 97 straws here and i put them in bundles of 10 here with carly so we have all these bundles of 10. now we want to know from these 97 straws how many bundles can we get there we have one two three four five six seven eight nine and then there are some left over let's see how many are left over one two three four five six seven so we've got nine bundles of ten and seven single ones and we can call these single ones we can call it ones so here we put them in a tens and ones column so the tens would be these nine bundles that would have circled so nine tens and the remaining ones that couldn't make it to a group of ten we call that ones and those were seven single ones so let's think about it in another in another situation so if your mother asks you to create seven groups of cherries with 10 in each group and the four single ones were left over can you now tell me how many cherries there are all right so you made the groups of 10 one group of 10 two groups of 10 three four groups five groups of 10 six group of 10 seven groups of 10 so seven groups of 10 with 10 in each group we could go ahead and yes count by 10 so we could say instead of counting one two three four all the way to the end we could just say 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 but then there were some single ones one two three four single ones so how many cherries do we have here let's go again 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 71 72 73 74 there are 74 cherries seven tens so it's seven groups of 10 and four single ones and that gave us 74 cherries thank you for sharing with us today please like and subscribe see you next time